the goal was to have a document capable of helping us providing a more efficient, safe, clean, <coughs> respectful environment for Gracie Baja's members. Okay, how, how will the environment be more efficient? Because we have a dojo etiquette. One of the items there says, talking should be kept to minimum and should be in regards to the subject of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Just that one line makes it clear to everyone that we are not here to hang out. We are here to talk about Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. We are here to make friends, to improve as a person, but the, the, the means, use it, will be the ones in regards to Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. We can even link the uniform to the idea of making the learning environment more efficient. Like I was saying, if the dojo is polluted with images that are not communicating what we are about, a visitor shows up, he may look to, to our group of students and say, hey, you know what? That's not the school I want to be a part of. Look at those patches. This is not where I want my kid training. So we are not being efficient about growing our community, touching as many lives as we can with Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, and improving their lives through our art. Okay? How can we make the environment safer? Many items there. One of them, no cell phones in the dojo. How, how can we make it clean? It says, uh, cut your nails. Uh, how can we make it more respectful? He talks about uh, how we should bow when we enter, bow when we exit. So there was there were strong reasons why the dojo etiquette came about. And Gracie Bahi was never just that we went to, to research and we saw that a lot of schools had a dojo etiquette. Oh, now let's go and have one. No. The conversation was, is always with a strong focus on why do we have it. Then we start working hard to implement it and doing what we can uh, uh, to keep consistency. Then everything falls together. 